At Firebase, we're focused on making Crashlytics the best crash aggregation and analysis system available, and we have some new updates to share. The last thing you want is to find out about a crash from a user review. So we've worked hard to make Crashlytics the most reliable crash monitoring and reporting tool available on both iOS and Android. With our latest update, no bug will crash your app so hard that it can't be captured and eventually reported. Now we know that C++ developers have always had a hard time debugging crash reports in any tool. Even with perfect crash detection, it's no use if the stack trace remains unsymbolicated or aggressive code optimization makes it unreliable. So we've revamped our symbolication process. We've relaxed the rules on how you need to arrange your symbols directories so you won't accidentally miss certain architectures or build variants. The Crashlytics symbol generation process can also preserve your stack trace across even the most aggressively optimized code, surviving the template preprocessor, const expert, and inlining. But just a stack trace isn't always enough to figure out why a crash happened. We find that crashes in some apps, especially games, are caused by minor variations in hardware. Because of this, we now report detailed hardware specifications at the top of a crash if you're using the Unity game engine, such as a player's exact CPU and GPU combination. This means that you can see in an instant whether a crash is hardware specific, making it easier to triage and reproduce bugs as they come in. Also, Unity developers may have noticed that sometimes multiple bugs are grouped into one report. By studying bugs from Unity developers specifically, we've improved how stack traces are processed to ignore engine code and ensure that bug reports really capture individual issues in your game logic. Even with these great new features, Crashlytics is still a free product included with any Firebase project. Add it to your game or app today.